Welcome to Jez Beer Reviews. Today I'm going to review another non-alcohol beer. This time it's wholesome alcohol free beer. Uh, now this beer is 0, 0.0. There's no alcohol at all in it. Um, this beer is imported into Australia by the Coopers Brewery. Um, now the actual owner of this is uh, the Carlsberg Group actually owned Holston. Holston do do normal beers as well. They have the Pilsner. Uh, this is a Pilsner style uh, lager which is 0.0% and what else can I tell you about it? Uh, Holston has 182 kilojoules per uh, 330 mils. So uh, comparing that, this is on their website, a very uh, good website actually. Uh, on their website it says an average uh, cola or can of say a Coke is about 656 um, kilojoules per 330 mils. That's comparing say 182 compared to 656 compared to a soft drink. And the average lager is about 565 per 330. So there's a big difference there in kilojoules. So let's pour it out because I'm actually really thirsty. Now I've, um, this is, I've had two six packs of this actually. Um, actually went to a barbecue on the weekend and I had about four of them and they went down very easy. I actually enjoy these. So then, I think because I, um, uh, you, yeah, <clears throat> you're doing like uh, say mow lawn. You have you have one of these. It's not too bad, and it doesn't dehydrate it. So that's that's why I'm positive. No dehydration. Um, it's probably better for you than uh, soft drink. It's uh, not soft drink. Powerade. Probably got all the minerals in there that you need. Um, okay, so one thing of head. The head's actually a bit disappointing. Uh, I pulled it out before when it was a bit better head. Maybe it's just the way I clean the glass. Um, bit of a golden appearance. Uh, crystal clear and medium bubbles rushing up. The smell, it's a light smell. Um, well, maybe a little bit of breadiness there. I think a bit of breadiness with them, a bit of bread dough. But anyway, it smells uh, pretty good and I'm pretty dry. So, cheers, let's get into it. Okay, compared to the Bitburger Dry, it's not as bitter. Um, it's uh, very, uh, it's got light body. It's got that uh, beer flavor there. It's not so much, a, it says it's a Pilsner style, but it's more like a, not a fancy European lag to a certain degree, or even something like a, a, a Munich Hellas. That's what kind of reminds me of. Uh, very clean tasting. carbonation but it's super refreshing sessionability well I had four at a barbecue when you're talking to that um, just straight me out of the stubby had four of them and they went down pretty good uh, and I drove home <laughs> you don't very very rarely to go barbecue and uh, have four beers and drive home but um, it's a good little beer this Holston you can buy it at um, Woolworths or Dan Murphy's Interesting enough, Woolworths, my Woolworths is right next door to Dan Murphy's. Now, at Woolworths, they're $9.99 for a six pack. Next door at Dan Murphy's is $7.90. There's a $2 difference, and dead set, they wouldn't even be 50 meters apart from each other through the wall. So, the, it, it just goes shake. Go to Dan Murphy's and get it. I've actually got a, <clears throat> I have a six pack of Slosh Gold. I lost the video somewhere on this, uh, my. Uh, Mrs. Computer, I've lost the video. I reviewed it, so I'm going to redo that. Um, wasn't a big fan that last one I done, but the Schloss Gold goes pretty good too. They come in the 500ml cans. It's a it's a real nice one. It's actually brewed in Austria. The Schloss Gold. It's um, the people who brew that Schloss Gold. They actually uh, are owned by Heineken. It's a huge, super big uh, brewing company. Same as the Carlsberg Group. They're huge. And that's why Coopers would be important because Coopers brewed Carlsberg and the Carlsberg uh, 3.5. I'm pretty sure under license now in Australia. Um, but going back to this, you know what? It's probably up there. Is, I've only had Bitburger. Oh, actually, I've had a few more. I, I had off camera actually. I've had the uh, Erdinger wheat beer off camera. It's like it's least it's pretty dearer than it's like 55 for a carton. The non-alcohol stuff, but it's pretty good, very decent. Hard and Ultra, I had that off camera. Um, I don't know if I really want to review it, to be honest, because it was uh, very, very ordinary. So, 
be warned, you better off go on Holston or even a tinge of alcohol, maybe a slosh gold. A slosh gold you can buy at supermarkets, there's not much alcohol in it. Or the Bit Burger Drive. But Holston for drinkability, session ability, so far the Holston's up there. Normally a slosh gold, five mil can I found after one can I've had enough, but these I can have two I can have two of these quite easily with um having dinner or you know, because you know, it's good dinner because uh doesn't uh, as you'd imagine, it's such a light flavour beer. It doesn't really uh, hurt the flavours in the food. Doesn't dominate the uh, whatever you're eating. Just uh, cleans the palate, washes it down, refreshing. So I tell you what, what's it been? Nearly um, it's been three weeks since I last had a, uh, alcohol or alcoholic beer, full strength beer, in. I've got a bit of a taste for these non alcoholic beers. I say so. I know people aren't a fan, but like I said, there's a bit of stigma around it. Um, but honestly, uh, like uh, if you're watching your weight or something like that, it's pretty good and it does a job. Like, I'm a very, uh, you know, routine person. I like having a couple of beers with dinner and I can have a beer of dinner and not hurt the waistline too much. <clears throat> Give the old liver a break, but. Not about that. It's about Holston and what's scrolling give it. I'll give this an A. Outstanding Pilsner like lager, New Kills lager type beer that is brewed on the. Um, um, there's nothing. All it is is uh, barley, water, hops, and yeast. And carbon dioxide on it, which, as we know, that carbon dioxide happens naturally. But I imagine they force carbonate, of course. That's not bottle conditioned. So, thanks for watching episode Jesby Reviews and A for Holston. Um, a cheap, non alcoholic beer that's very tasty. And you only need to drink it really cold. I agree with Denny from So Far Can Drunk. Other in Scotland, you don't need to drink these super cold. Um, if you like cold, cold, you can, but they don't really get nasty as they warm up. They stay the same. So, thanks for watching episode Jesby Reviews. See you next time. You guys take care. See you. Bye.